Cinematography, as described in the textbook, looking at movies, is the process of capturing moving images on a film or a digital storage device. Authors Barsim and Monahan later go on to describe the Greek root of the word, kinesis meaning movement, photo meaning light, and graphia meaning writing. Cinematography is a broad term encompassing any scene that is filmed. Because Night of the Hunter is shot in black and white, there are distinct contrasts and hard edges. In Night of the Hunter, familiar images are used throughout the movie to depict certain aspects of the character. Familiar image is defined as the repetition of composition, graphic elements, sound, or sequence to affect the audience's interpretation of a moment by allowing them to experience and understand it from the context of a similar shot taken earlier in the film. Cinematographer of Night of the Hunter, Stanley Cortez, once said, To hell with all this caution, to hell with this academic approach. You must distort color, play around with it, make it work for you, intentionally throw it off balance. You can mirror emotions in color. There are times when nature is dull, change it. This untraditional approach is what made the film simply great. He used shadows and lighting to play with the audience's perception even if they did not realize it. He was able to manipulate our feelings and ideas of the characters with well-designed shots. As we know, Harry is the antagonist within the film. Thus, Stanley Cortez used lighting, specifically a silhouette, to depict his menace. A silhouette often brings about a sense of mystery to a specific character, hinting that there is more than what meets the eye. This is true for Harry's character. Though the audience is aware of Harry's dark nature, Willa, Ruby, and others are fooled by Harry, simply believing only what they are seeing. In several shots, specifically when at his most dangerous, Harry has a backlit silhouette. This darkens Harry, yet lightens the background showing that his character is one with a dark motive and reinforcing the audience's ongoing grave mood towards him. With this being said, Rachel is also depicted with a backlit silhouette. However, this is not to compare her to Harry's evil nature, but to show that she too is powerful. Though Harry has killed numerous people on his greed-filled hunt, Rachel is not afraid to stand up to the man. Like Harry, Rachel's character is also more than what meets the eye. Though she appears as an endearing elderly woman, she is as tough as nails, as she sits in the dark with a gun, daring the killer outside to confront her. Night of the Hunter was released in 1955. Despite the thrilling plot and well-known actors, the film was not accepted or understood well by the audience at the time. The movie is based on Davis Grubb's true story book on Harry Powers. This book was about a serial murderer who lured women through the Lonely Hearts ad and was later hung in the Moundsville prison. However, unlike the film, this book brought about many public interests. Later, Night of the Hunter was recognized for its brilliance and is now seen as a classic. The use of silhouettes is also seen in Citizen Kane. As mentioned previously, the use of silhouettes in Night of the Hunter are used to compare the power of Harry and Rachel. Likewise, in Citizen Kane, Thompson is illuminated with a backlight while speaking to a room of reporters. This emphasizes Thompson's power as he appears the largest, meanwhile the other reporters are hardly visible from the shadow being cast, highlighting their unimportance. In the middle of the film, Mrs. Kane is complaining to Kane about her poor opera review. Originally, the backlight is focused on her until Kane moves in front, casting a shadow on his wife, kneeling on the floor. Mr. Kane's power fills the scene as it is clear that he dominates control over his wife. 